Hello there. Today on Mental Dictals with Dr. May, I will be speaking on setting boundaries. <music> this is very important because um, to create healthy relationships, to be able to have that formidable um, intimacy or closeness with somebody, it's important we look at the boundaries we set. And our focus on setting boundaries today is personal boundaries. Remember that personal boundaries are the limits and rules we set for ourselves within relationship. A person with healthy boundaries can say no to others when they want to but they are also comfortable opening themselves up to intimacy and close relationships. Boundaries should be based on your values or the things that are important to you. For example, if you value spending time with family, set firm boundaries about working late. So I let I tell you this, um, I'm, I'm a firm believer of you know, ensuring there's that harmony between work and life and I have kids, little kids growing up. So I told myself, being an entrepreneur, I want to also have time for myself. So weekends, I don't really want to do anything. Just focus more, relax, have family time, you know, and do things that are you know, meaningful for myself. So I always say weekends as uh, what we call uh, me time for me and my family. So if you catch me doing something, you know, outside um, weekend, that could be somebody very close to me, maybe going attending a wedding or a party. That is very, very necessary. But aside that, you know, I'm just taking time for myself. So your boundaries are yours and yours only. Many of your boundaries might align with those who are close to you, but others will be unique. Know your boundaries before entering a situation. This will make it less likely you will do something you are not comfortable with. So in knowing your boundaries, there are two important things you have to do. What to say, and of course, what to do. You always have the right to say no. I've said this again, and I'm repeating it once more. When doing so, express yourself clearly and without ambiguity, so there's no doubt what you want. Say it the way it to clean, clear, without you know, ups and downs. Statements like, I'm not comfortable with this, or this doesn't work for me. Or you can even go as far as, depending on the relationship you have with the person, this is not acceptable. I don't want to do that. It's important to make it clear. This is not acceptable. Not the one that you would say this, you would repeat yourself, you go up, you go, no. Say it, like I said, without ambiguity. In what to do, these are ways in ensuring that you set those boundaries. One is use confident body language. Face the other person, make eye contact, and use a steady tone of voice at an appropriate volume. Not too quiet, not too loud. You don't have to shout. You're speaking to a human being. Preserve what it is to be human. Two, be respectful. Remember, respect begets respect. Avoid yelling, putting, using put downs or giving the silent treatment. It's okay to be firm, but use, but your message will be better received if you are respectful. Number three, plan ahead. Think about what you want to say and how you would say it before entering a difficult dis discussion. This can help you feel more confident about your position. Number four, compromise. When appropriate, listen and consider the needs of other people. You never have to compromise, but give and take is part of any healthy relationship. I, I always say on this program, remember, whatever you do is progress, not perfection. <laughs>